Okay, so 1.6 trig examples um, on inequalities is basically what we're looking at here. So let's see what we have. Uh, 9x minus 7 is less than or equal to negative 1. We know how to solve these. Just going to add 7 to both sides. So we get 9x is less than or equal to 6. Divide by 9 on both sides, and we get x is less than or equal to 6 ninths. I can take a 3 out of each of those, so x is less than or equal to 2 thirds. This is just so you can get some practice writing these in our new notation. Remember, it's low to high. Everything less than 2 thirds, that's lower than it, so that's why it's negative infinity up to 2 thirds, and the reason why it's a square bracket is because this is a less than or equal to sign. When you rewrite this, you add 4 to both sides, so that's going to be a 3, a 9, and a 3x in the middle. Divide everything by 3, and I get a 1 and a 3 on the outside. So this is like a sandwich problem. Because it's a less than sign, it's a curved bracket. Because it's a less than sign, it's a curved bracket, and it's in between 1 and 3 are your answers. Um, over here, um, I could cross multiply, but the sign stays the same. It's supposed to be less than or equal to, so keep that in mind. It's less than or equal to. 5 times x is 5x. 5 times negative 5 is negative 25. 4 times 3 is 12x. 4 times negative 1 is negative 4. So when I go to solve this, I add negative 12 to both sides. So I got negative 7x minus 25, and that's a negative 4. I add 25 to both sides, so I get negative 7x is less than 21. Divide by a negative 7, which means I flip the sign when you divide by a negative. So I get x is greater than negative 3. And remember, it's supposed to be greater than or equal to, so there should be a line underneath this the whole way, and there's not. So it's or equal to. So x is greater than or equal to negative 3. So it's a negative 3, because that's the lowest number, because it's greater than negative 3 to infinity. That's right, but this is supposed to be a square bracket because, remember, I told you there's supposed to be a line underneath here. See the original problem? So there should be a square bracket right there at the negative 3. Um, to get rid of the 2 thirds here, I'm going to multiply by a 3 over 2 on both sides. So that's gone. So I have an x minus 3 on that side. I multiply by a 3 on top and a 2 on the bottom. So 3 times 3, that's a 9x on top and a negative 3 and a 12 on the bottom. I'm going to multiply by 12 to make that go on to the other side. So 12 times x is 12x. 12 times negative 3 is negative 36 and a 9x minus 3 on that side. Minus a 9x to get all the x's together, so it's a 3x minus 36 is greater than negative 3. You can add 36 to both sides, so you get 3x is greater than 33. Divide both sides by 3, so I get x is greater than 11, which means 11 is your low, and anything higher than that would be able to infinity. And because it's greater than, that's why, because there's no line underneath it, it is a curved bracket at the 11. So um, that is less than or equal to 0. So I try to factor this. So negative 7 and 2 works, because negative 7 times 2 is negative 14. Negative 7 plus 2 is negative 5. So I get somewhere around here. Here it is. We end up getting uh, minus 2 and x minus 7 and x plus 2, which we separate to solve. So I add 7 to both sides, so I get x is less than or equal to 7. I minus 2 on both sides, so I get x is less than or equal to negative 2. So if I'm doing a rough little sketch, at negative 2 and at 7. This is what the graph looks like with a rough sketch, and the reason why I drew it going up is because this is a positive x squared. So I want to know whenever it's less than or equal to 0. Well, that's right here, right there, right in between there. So in between negative 2 and 7 is where it's less than um, or equal to 0. And because less than or equal to 0, that's why I have the square brackets on either side, because I want to know when it's less than or equal to. Um, so it includes those points. Um, something like this, when I go and set it up, it's already all factored, which is a plus. So um, I have 1, so I get x is greater than 1. I minus 2, so I get x is greater than negative 2. I minus 3, so I get x is greater than negative 3. So when I go to do the graph, I put a point at all these, at a negative 3, a negative 2, and a positive 1. And 
this is how the graph of a cubed, a positive cubed, normally looks. Okay, so I have it how it normally looks. I want to know when is it greater than zero. It's greater than zero here, right? This is the line at zero. So it's greater than zero here, and it's greater here. So because I know this, I know that it's greater than zero in between negative three and negative two, and I know it's greater than zero at, from one and after. So right here, that's why I have the circle, the, the curvy brackets at negative three and negative two, and I have one at one because they're all greater than signs, so that's why they're all curved brackets, and I have the union sign there because I'm skipping over this little lump right in here. So I go from here to here, and I skip this, and I go from there on up. Okay, and if you can hold your horses for one second. now so let's take a look here at the last example solve that inequality I realize I can take an X out of there so it's an X squared plus 6x plus 8 right so I'm going to continue here to uh, see what's going on let's see here all right so I'm going to now try to factor this so to factor that, what multiplies to give you 8, that adds to give you um, 6, that's 2 and 4, right? Because 2 plus 4 is 6, and 2 times 4 is 8. So here are the factors. x is greater than or equal to 0, um, x plus 2 is greater than or equal to 0, and x plus 4 is greater than or equal to 0. So minus 2, so I get x is greater than or equal to negative 2 and minus 4, so x is greater than or equal to negative 4. Because it's a positive cubed, a rough sketch, I know it's going to look like that. That's the point at negative 4, that's the point at negative 2, and there's the point at 0. I want to know when it's greater than or equal to 0. It's greater than here, so in between negative 4 and negative 2, and it's greater from 0 on up. That's what I know. So in between negative 4 and 2, and that should actually be square brackets there. There you go. So it should actually be square brackets there because it actually includes um, those points there as well at negative 4 and 2. Because ne in between negative 4 and 2, right, it's greater than 0. And from 0 on to infinity, it's greater than 0. And it's square brackets because it's greater than or equal to. So that helped out a lot with the quadratics. Um, the rational ones, I feel, still the best way when you have the fractions is to plug in numbers and see for yourself what works the best. If you have any other questions or concerns, please let me know.